Nice to see you're still above ground. And here we go, back here, folks, just where we left off. And I've redeemed so many rewards from the UB store. And for some reason, it won't let me redeem some Wildlands, which, uh, some Wildlands rewards, which would be the uh, El Sueño boss. I think you get like a shirt or a cosmetic item, and it won't let me reveal it. And it says you have to take down El Sueño when I've took him down many times. But I took him down with the last ending, so we completed the whole map first and then took down El Sueño. But I heard you can... You, there's different endings too. I think... I don't know if you have to kill him to get that reward or... I have no idea, but I've done the medicinal pack. I've done the beta emblems. Uh, I don't know. Different resources packs. I've also uh, spent some of the go of the GR points that it gave me from the Ultimate Edition to... Uh, and I just spend it on just, I think, cosmetics and the resources. So if you go to the bi bivouac, if you go on to the bivouac, we'll be able to craft a few things uh, just before we set off, folks. And I do also want to get an uh, in-game bonus real quick. And uh, I've also found out that the gun I've got, the Black Ice or Blue Ice, uh, the 416 I've got currently, is from one of the operations within uh, Wildlands. That's uh, one of the DLC operations. I think it's Silent Spade. And there's one more that I would need to unlock, which would be another uh, assault rifle. But I still haven't done that operation, which I did find hard. Uh, we were doing it in Extreme, and we, it was only uh, two of us. So I'll have to do that at like some point regular. This kid needs to shut up. I have to do that at some point, kind of like with regular difficulty by myself and just to complete it so I can get the gun in this game, which is pretty sick. It's got an amazing camo, and I think it's an MK17, so why not? you know what I mean? It's MK17. Good for long range, even though I shouldn't be using it due to the fact I'm running AR Sniper, so that's brave. But I think we've got everything we could. We've gone to the uh, loadout real quick. I want to see where we unlocked them. So weapon objective, we've got one. There we go. We've got all of the things here. So we've got the Valor. That's pretty sick. Holy smokes. So much unlocked. Got the Promise. Here we've got the, an SMG, which this is from the Division 2. And you get it again with another reward from Ubisoft. So, folks, hope you're enjoying. I'm just showing off some rewards and stuff that I've been up to on the Ubisoft just before getting started. I'm absolutely enjoying this. There's so much to unlock. There's so much to see, to discover, to explore. And I can't wait to... I'm just so eager to do it. And I can't wait to get through it with you folks. So uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up. Because uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's just carry on, folks. Uh, we've got a sniper as well. DMR. And then we've got the G36C Scout. Scorpio Scout. Holy smokes. We've got, we got quite a lot of stuff unlocked, you know. How many skill points have we got real quick? No, 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 we've got these two classes, which, uh, with the new skill points, and obviously we've got these. I don't like new things. This shouldn't have... I know, I know it helps showing you what you unlocked and the new kind of things and new categories in your lock. I put an exclamation mark, but they should remove it after you just see the menu instead of us hovering over it. It's annoying. And I, as I said, the free point assist and menu, not my thing. Investigations, I was meant to have a look at this in the last episode due to the fact that we've asked a lot of questions around. Uh, we asked everybody and everybody that we know questions on how to uh, proceed with these ongoing investigations. In this game, you have investigations in for the main story and for the side missions. We know about Midas because we've asked Holt. So now we get to collect the clue unlock, uh, and complete the side mission, A Soul in Rest. We also asked Holt, which can help and aid in the investigation, which should add in there. It did in the open beta. At the center, take control. We have different other investigations. We've got to collect different clues to aid in the investigations. And then we go where the homestead has come from. And of course, you can resolve the investigations, but I'm not doing that just yet because I know it's linked to a larger side mission as I've done this one in the beta, folks. And obviously, if you consult, if I remember, it shows you the actual uh, clue itself. And there you go, you can pin it. And then it will track the different clues to it, depending on how you're playing exploration or guided mode. If you're playing with guided mode, it will tell you the waypoint or where to go exactly. If you're playing exploration mode, it will give you instructions, just as it would with guided mode, but only it's completely up to you on finding where and the actual location. Of the of the clue or the actual objective, folks. So who sank the U.S. military ship? So we've got to collect different clues by asking around, as we did uh, with in the last episode, but just more now. We just need to go around the map. Our objectives board. I think we've got. I'm trying to find out where we got the new cosmetic items and new stuff like that. Let's go to the shop real quick. I'm actually surprised the amount of people are playing this game already. So discuss. 
See what else you got to discuss with her. We discussed everything with her. Indeed we are, right? Say goodbye. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, mate. Come on. You be um, the Ultimate Edition have definitely helped us a lot. Let's get you suited up. Uh-huh. Uh, she's not selling too much, but she's selling definitely the blueprints from the stuff that we need or the stuff that we just unlocked, should I say. We got some. I need a heli blueprint any day of the week so we can spawn it at the bivouacs now. You don't just randomly have a heli in your back pocket. I, t I like that kind of touch. It just makes things just a slight bit more realistic. All right, let's go. It's all good. I want to go to the bivouac. Get some uh, crafting in and see what we can get. All right, rest in bivouac. I love the music behind this. So sick. All right. Let's get to work. So, got tactics, preparations. We'll quickly do a preparation. I'm going to do hydrate again. I'm, I'm going to go for weapon review. It gives us 20% more accuracy. Logic. I showed all these animations in a close beta anyway, folks. I don't think they've changed them. It doesn't look changed. All right, very nice. Now, tactics. Let's check this out. So this is where you change. Okay, this is where you change your loadout. And it doesn't seem... Or it, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, we can create different presets. I'll probably do that in my own time, though. To create the different presets. I want to go on my inventory real quick. Uh, so, in my consumables part. And then you've got the resources. I need the binoculars to be... In my quick menu. Okay, no, they are. So, in the quick menu, we've got different things. And you can also access your binoculars and drone. But it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Alright, craft. This is what we want. This is what we want. We don't want to craft T4s on a craft that because that's all stuff you can find around, so it's a waste. Now, we've definitely got a lot of this stuff. I'd say, pro uh, oh, protective ration basic. 5% damage resistance for 10 minutes. Proteins. I'm not going to craft any of these because, first of all, before wasting all my resources on these, I've got definitely a lot of them. As like you can see, I've got 9 of this, 15 of these, 21 of these to craft. I've got, di I've got so much resource. Uh, so, so many resources to craft all of these uh, things, but wasting them now, it only gives you the bonus for 10 minutes. That's because we still need to unlock with the skills the different boosters and uh, the actual up we need to upgrade the timing and the bonus percentages. So I say don't waste anything yet. All right, time to go. We'll play with what we got. God, this music is tense. Holy smokes. Come on. I'm actually so enjoying this, folks. It's just brilliant. All right, I'm going to go real quick on the... I know I'm taking long, folks, but I want to do... Customize. Uh, I want to see what we unlocked. Definitely unlocked more. Cross draw vest. Okay, we've unlocked a lot of stuff there, but I don't want to change things that give you protection. I think it's kind of stupid. I've said this already. Uh, glasses, NBG goggles, cool. Uh, I think we unlocked a scar from the Ubi store. Here we have unlocked nothing. Uh, we unlocked a few more t-shirts from the Ubi store and in general. And in the patches, I unlocked the AC Odyssey patch. And I want to put that because it's so sick. Assassin's Creed Odyssey patch. It's a rare patch. It just looked good. Uh, it looks kind of ghostish, but at the same time, it just gives that good reference. And I like that. I'm going to put it for now. It looks good. Why did it change my knife back? Oh, no. It's got the HF2T. Okay, that's pretty sick. Even though, I don't know. I want to go for something more flashy. We're definitely going for something like this. Yep. All right. Face mask. I don't have that selected. I don't know why. Okay, yep. Cool, 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 cool. And what's this? Holy smokes. You can actually play as one of the figures. So you can actually play with the real nomad, which would be this one. Game, load it up. Reach tier 20, 49 of battle rewards to unlock the actual nomad. The real deal nomad that we see in all the game covers and pretty much everywhere. That's pretty sick. You'll love to see that. Sorry, folks, if I'm exploring this every two seconds. But there's so much to discover and explore. And I keep stopping to just... I like to include every detail. And I like to just get my way around the game. We've All right, we access the side missions. We know where they are. Let's get for the main mission. Uh, so we've got a discuss battle rewards. And then, obviously, battle rewards I've done 
through the different activities and the tiers that we've seen in the last uh, episodes or so, especially through Ghost War. It's, I think it's designed uh, specifically for Ghost War, folks. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? Used to be Skeltec's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. <laughs> You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <clears throat> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. All right, told us where the boats are. I remember this because we've done this in the beta, and this this will be the last main mission you get to do in the beta. I remember this. Let's just get out of here now because I'm I'm actually I don't want to. I'm not bored because I love the because I love the freaking game, but I'm bored of here. But we've stayed here an episode and a half now. I want to get out of here so we can get off and uh, be some main mission action. I want to try out the new AR. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do. At some point, I'm going to go back on Ghost Recon, do a mission to unlock that new AR and cam, of course, because everybody seems to have this one, and it seems freaking sick. Uh, and then, I want to just try out all the new weapons, because I, I and the handgun. So I've also got the handgun as well to try out. Uh, we're going to take the heli that's out here in the bilwack, folks. We're going to explore some map. Uh, I've heard that you don't explore the map, so Ghost uh, Recon Breakpoint offers two ways to play Guided by an Exploration Mode. We know this, so I'm good with... Guided mode. Thank you. Expiration mode. You use glues to find your targets. I know. I've done it in many games. Many games. Guided mode. No, I'm good. Guided mode. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. All right. I love that seamless play. Just getting out and straight up taking out your weapon. I kind of miss holstering your weapons and just taking a walk around. I'm, I'm kind of gutted that we can't do that anymore. Yeah, I kind of miss that, you know, just walking around the appreciating and taking in the environment with your weapons holstered. You know, just, just it seems like your own kind of exploration mode. I kind of miss that, folks. And wow, this feels, holy smokes, this feels smooth. That feels not feel like the beta. Wow. Well, okay then. And look at that. Oh my goodness, folks. Wow. I'm loving this environment. This is the kind of environment we had in back in Cayman is from uh, Wildlands. Freaking love it. I'm about to break the heli. I'm an idiot. It's it's a bit too smooth. I wouldn't. I don't want to complain about stupid things, but it it feels way too smooth. It's hard to drive. It feels reactive, like really reactive. And I already broke it. God dang windows, poor heli. 
Scout credits, I think. Indeed. Love to see it. Alright, so we want to select it, though. So, objectives. Main objectives. Where are you? Here we go. Operation Greenstone 1, main mission. Find the way off the island. Yes, I want to go up there and pin it. Alright, we good. Should give us a waypoint, and it has. Drive! Oh, for God. For goodness sakes. There we go. This heli's already broken. Just started freaking driving it. Alright, let's go. Hey, I, I think I've I think I've seen this somewhere around forums. Why isn't the heli? It's really oh, the mechanics have changed. It, it you can store the heli now. Wow, that is actually pretty impressive. That the mechanics have changed and the fact that the uh, the kind of like the controller started vibrating. I think it's because I was close to like a surface. I think I don't know that you I don't think you can store the he the aircraft or whatever you're driving. I think it's the uh, I think it was sense it, it was like sensing that it was very close to like a surface. It was very close to an, an object or a close collision with the trees. That's what it was sensing, and it was actually vibrating. That's a pretty good touch to add. Very good detail. And I also read that in the forums, for some reason, uh, there's loads of people complaining about this kind of fog of war map because we had the kind of same thing, the kind of fog of war map where you had to uh, reveal the map on for the attack map. You had to kind of reveal it, and you could have done so with the heli with flying a. With flying just any aircraft, you could have just you just have to hover, uh, pretty much hover above it, and it would be revealed on on the map. And uh, whereas now it will discover the place, but will not actually reveal the place. It will not actually reveal uh, the place or location uh, on the map unless you go there by foot or on the ground uh, with a vehicle or something. What the hell is that? Is that a supply job? I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, we're checking it out, folks. Oh, I know what this is. We had this in Wildlands. This is supplies, like scale credits. The problem is there's just too many enemies in there. Yeah, screw it. I'm not ready for it. We are not ready for that. Let's go. Let's get to the main mission. So yeah, as I was saying, gee, it, I think it's a good touch, but a bad touch. It just adds useless game time, I think. It, it's a thing that shouldn't be. It's, I'm not it shouldn't be because you should be able to reveal and discover the map as you please, and this should reveal on the map. I think it... I don't know for certain if it is, but I still need to play it enough to actually understand if it is like that. But that's what I looked up. I'm not going to jump out because otherwise I don't have a way off. I don't have a way off it from here. So we're going to land it somewhere around here. Without making too much noise. I think I think a, uh, a cluster of enemies or a group of enemies will show up at some point. I remember taking them all out and even fire back in the beta. Yeah, they'll... they'll so we speak to a uh, man and his little girl, if I remember. There's also a crate around there. There's three crates. I ain't gonna hurt you, man. See what we can grab. Vault, man. Thank you. We've got some weapon cases over here. Let's open up. So there's a daddy and a little girl. That's an MK17. Holy smokes, but it's two levels below what I've currently already got. So not my thing, man. Not my thing. Is my eight? Oh, my assault rifle. It's an. It's a level twenty. Holy smokes! All right, let's dismantle this. Let's dismantle this. Love to see that. Uh, I think I've unlocked a few attachments as well, so I'm gonna quickly check this out. Uh, viewing gunsmith. So yes, our magazine. We've not unlocked this. We unlocked it. Yeah, we got the suppressor and the standard muzzle, of course. The rail cover. We've got a. Oh, we got some. Lasers. We got a laser sight, which I don't know how much that's going to do. So, rail cover. I'll put the rail cover for now, but that minus 30 rail, uh, hip fire control is not bad. I like that. Now we've got this, which I'm not digging. So then we got the comp 4A sight. Then we got the folding iron sights. And then we got the solid all rounder. Toggle the to change dot. Might go for this. Seemed pretty good to me. Oh, damn. Did I just exit through that? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Alright, then we got the underbarrel rail, which I wanted to check it out. We still got to unlock some. Lightweight vertical foregrip. We still got to find some. And we still got to unlock some. Okay, and then we get to unlock... We get to pretty much upgrade all of this. And if we ever get a the same kind of gun... Uh, or we get to craft it again with this camera if you want it, folks. Because uh, we can craft it any time... And I think it would then transform itself into the current gear level that you are at 
So it would still be an advanced weapon, though. I don't think it would change the weapon category. So I'm going to say we unlock we unlock some upgrades for it. Uh, what's this? Improved weapon parts. That's pretty sick. I'm still, I've got that, but that increases the range. Okay. This increases uh, reload speed. Wouldn't mind that. What does this do? Advanced weapon parts. Uh, yeah, we don't have advanced weapon parts yet. We've got some metal parts, though. We've got 76. Holy smokes. We want to increase that range. Uh, range again. Yep. Keep it coming. And then we got damage. Don't think we need damage, but at this point, we might as well. Standard weapon parts, standard weapon part. Assault rifle parts, might as well. Pointless if we didn't do it. Is this got a, it's got a passive... Oh, reload speed after a kill. 10 plus reload speed. Love to see that. Thank you. All right. Let's keep this going. I don't think I'm upgrading any of these folks. Maybe the handgun because, again, it's a uh, it's an advanced weapon. But not yet. All right. So, now. Now that we've done all of this, I want to check the site. That looks pretty sick. I like it. Very useful. Let's put it into third. Love to see it. Let's check this out. There's so many new features to get used to, especially the driving. I've got a cap enhanced fuel cap. I'm going to have to put this, ain't I? Because it's obviously better than my current. Uh, yep, we're putting it. Let's check it out. It actually looks pretty sick. I expected worse. All right, let's dismount to this one. Love to see it. And uh, we're good. Wait, we got more stuff to dismount? I think we do. That's the shotgun. Shotgun, and we got an M9 to this mantle. Thank you. Got anything else? Uh, no, we're good. All right, let's go. Got another crate. I think it's in the lighthouse. Indeed it is, or oh, in the communications tower. But yeah, folks, I freaking love this. The thing, they changes they, the changes they made, the game feels a lot smoother and realistic. I mean, this is just scale credits. All right, let's get to objective. I think it's uh, it's a man and his little girl and his daughter, and they're trying to get off the island. But he works for Skelltech, if I remember. All right, let's talk to him. I'm not going to hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I work for Skelltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. I can get these bolts back to that ship, then I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox. This is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No. Uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, not, not, not badly. We left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. These are the same things that took out our heli. Yeah, they are. All right, folks, I think we've got incoming, if I remember. Shit. More bad guys. Everyone take cover! Adaptive system. Let's get the adaptive cover systems. And let's get ready to fight. They know where we are. Oh, they're coming down. It's going to be one hell of a fight. You ain't wrong, mate. Alright, let's keep this going. They're all coming down now. Let's get my sniper out. See if I can get these absolute clowns. Alright, one's out. Switch weapon self. What you doing, mate? Let's 
skill point. Remove yourself from my screen. I'm trying to shoot. All right, nice. Wow, I need to get used to this. Holy smokes. It's definitely easier in the beta. Twice as much enemies came from the, from the beta that was like, oh, we can get to move. I think we've unlocked the uh, smoke, the cloak and run ability. Love to see it. From, Pan from the Panther class. All right, what we got? What you got for me? A bolt pop. Okay, got a new SMG. Love to see that. So I think I'm going to have to switch a sniper at some point. It's a level 12, folks. So let's put an SMG for now. There we go. Uh, then we got an M4A1, which is a standard, not an advanced. Should I say... What's the green one? So it goes standard, then advanced, then improved, I think. Oh, no, this is improved, this is advanced, and then it's rare. That's the one. That's the one. There we go. So let's dismantle this one. Uh, dismantling this one as well. Love it. We've got a new item here as well. What you got, mate? I can see you got a new item here somewhere on the map. This is a civilian. Or one that fights for a cause. Let's talk to Fox. Let's try and get him and his little daughter out of here. What the hell was that? Give me a minute. My God. Those people. It, it, it must be a, a, a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. My guess is, my guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen. You have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. Okay, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. <laughs> Trying to find Hill, folks. Let's go and find Hill. Man, I love the new systems. That aiming system definitely changes up gameplay. Why are you telling me I've got binoculars? I know I've got a drone and binoculars. Game. Oh, that's how you throw grenades up. All right, so switch to orders. These are different things you can have. And then obviously self-use stores water for drinking to reduce fatigue. That's so sick. And you obviously can fill up the canteen just by going next to some water from the sea or from different lakes. And you can just fill up the canteen every single time. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how you can select the binoculars, though, because there is a way. Here we go, I think. To change. It should say change. Here we go. So change. Here we go. You can change it to binoculars. We don't want a water canteen yet. What else can we change? We need... I don't know if we need the syringe yet. We need something that we don't use on a regular... Why would I need a mine every two seconds? Like, a mine is not something that comes in that handy. Like... I, I definitely need the water canteen more. Come on, game. Gotta make me... I think you unlock different slots. You, unlock, you can unlock different or more inventory slots as you progress forward. Because that, that just doesn't make sense. Alright, let's keep this going. Uh, we need to select the objective. We'll find out where it is at least. I need to get on with some side missions as well. But I'm, I'm, I'm just loving the main mission too much right now. Uh, Avenger Brothers in Arms. Indeed. Recommend... Uh, what? No, that's not the one. So interrogate enemy office to find walkers yet. Improve your gear level. That's exactly what we're doing. So we need to go to that fishing bay that you said. Or that fishing dock. Uh, right, Archipelago for side missions. And no. Find Josiah Hill. That's the one. Want to replace it? Here we go. And let's get on finding Josiah Hill. We've got a new skill point. We do not applying it just yet because there's only one. I want to get to uh, more skill points. So let's get to our heli. So it's quick as we get there. I just love the new systems. So now we can deploy our drone. Thank you very much. We can also we also got yeah we select the standard issue binoculars offering different. So why does it say I've only got one use? Is that only one use? No, it can't be. I will not believe that. No, it's fine. 
So, I oh, will leave the binoculars out for now. Hey, there's clowns here with a goddamn drone. Just off the coast? What? Alright, let's get in close. Let's take him out, folks. Let's get a single shot up. Are they holding up a civilian? Alright, they were definitely holding a civilian. I don't believe... Oh, and they all died. I could have saved the civilian. In the beta, I saved a few civilians off of this. Off of these little events like this. But that absolutely triggered me. Why did the boat explode randomly? It killed half of the soldiers. Did all the work for me. Why did that happen? Hey, come on, mate. All right, it's time to change my baby. The wolf armor, which I was very attached to, but it is what it is. If you love something, you got to let it go, they say. All right, good. Let's uh, dismantle the wolf armor. Even though I freaking loved it. It looks so good. This actually looks pretty good as well. They all look good. Everything looks good in this game. God damn it. All right. Let's take the heli and go. Find Josiah here. I, I absolutely love the new mechanics. That breathing in ADS control system definitely changed the... It just definitely changed the pace of the gameplay. It completely transformed the, the whole level. So it is indeed for that reason. It is vibrating because of the of the like nearby objects or surfaces. It's because the it's it's basically warning you that you're you're about to cause a collision. You're about to crash. It's basically warning you of your surroundings and the environment. That's such a good detail, and it is because of that. It's definitely not because you're like turning it aggressively or you're about to saw the aircraft. I was like, really? They added such a mechanic? What the hell is happening here? Yeah, we got some more clowns in the area. Got a drone system as well. All right, they're they're suspecting. I'm gonna take them out. They're everywhere in this area. Holy smokes! All right, let's land the heli because I'm taking these guys out. They've got some uh, more survivors with them. Move, people. Let's get to work. Oh, these are the bad guys. The big, big guys. We've a goddamn drone, folks. Ah, oh, we're good. We're good. We should be good. Ah, oh, he's out. Oh god, no! I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That's a goddamn drone. I'm out. Move, move. I can't even search those guys. Move. Might want to hurry up. Thank you. I'm out. Bye. See you later. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Oh, that thing's got missiles. Move. Come on, mate. God damn it. It makes you regret everything you do in this game. All right, let's get to Josiah here. It's a kilometer away. So the one thing, oh, there's a weapon attachment or part in that compound, but we can't get it. I love the fact that you can uh, hide the HUD with uh, the down arrow as well. It's a nice touch. I don't like this place, folks. Looks pretty freaky to me. I don't like this place, not one bit. Hold to switch to prone position. I know. I know how to do it. I played this game. We can, uh... This is a bivouac. We'll unlock the bivouac, so deploy. Real quick. I shouldn't be doing this without checking if the air is... It's cool first over here. I'm an idiot. At least we unlocked it. You love to see that Odyssey patch on the armor and backpack. It looks good. Oh, you actually get to see the animation of how he deploys it. That's so sick. Different from, uh... Wow. I'm impressed. Holy smokes. And my hands are dirty from the mud. Well, fair enough. I attacked this craft. Yep, yeah, I just wanted to unlock it. I think it's... I don't know if it was already unlocked. So we're going to leave right now. Real quick. I think it was already unlocked. I think you unlock them... When they are shoving on the map. Home is where... Oh, that's fair enough. At least we earned some units. I think you said home is wherever you're camped. That's pretty sick. So take collectible. Thank you. Got a new bar unlocked and some next beat. Gotta love that. Let's take this. I think it's going to be scale credits. Or maybe an LMG. Of a high level. So we'll put it for the pop. 
Ah, uh, yeah, put, the, put it here. There we go. There we go. What you love to see. And I think that's about it. Let's enter. Let's try and find Josiah Hill. I like this vehicle. Holy smokes. Freaking good. Hey. Red Queen. White Rabbit. Nomad? Josiah. Holy shit. Nice to see you're still above ground. Anyone else from your chalk? Few. Who were scattered. Man, we sure screwed the pooch on this one. Walker out there, hunting down our soldiers. You saw who? Lieutenant Colonel Walker. Cole Walker. Here. Fighting our guys? There's no way. I believe this book is a traitor. It's what I saw that that boss is gonna pay. I'm gonna go with, uh, I believe it's uh, Walker's a traitor. He's turned on us, man. There's no way for our people to die. I guess duty and honor are going the way of the dinosaur. <sighs> so what's your lay of the land? Either Walker sank that cargo ship, or someone he was working with did. Look. So you sank the US military ship. Investigation is just obtained a piece of information I can resolve an investigation. Okay. So is there is, uh, here is the pending question. Who sank it? Obviously, we know that. And then here are the clues you have collected. Okay. And click here to resolve the investigation. Ah! I don't think we can. Yeah, is that only two clues? I think that's all it was. Yeah, let's resolve it. Next station complete. Jay Skell sunk that cargo ship. Damn. Everything that happened here is because of that prick. That adds so many more elements to the game. Holy smokes. I'll locate Jay Skell. I met some Skell Tech employees. I'll see what they know. I'll try and round up more survivors. We'll link up at RP Delta. Sounds good. All right. A new clue. We've got some more XP. Now what does he want me to do? Attack time. We've got to talk to Shoals again. All right. I think we can flash out to the bill back because uh, obviously we've unlocked it. And it's in error one. So error one, error one, error one. My honks and... Uh, found ya. Twin fools. Here we go. Fast travel. Alright, let's talk to Mads. Let's talk to Mads. My main's waiting for us. Are you mates? Going the wrong, completely wrong way. My bad. Alright. Let's so get gather information about Jay Scale. Okay, see what Mads. Why would we need to talk about Mads? I think we just need to update on the situation. Where the hell is he? Mads? Where you going, mate? Uh. Mads? Hello? Where are you, mate? What is going on? <laughs> Where is Mads? Bro, I'm trying to speak to you. God damn it, you god damn miscreant. Oh, here we go. You just didn't feel like being here, huh? Huh? Well, you need to take care of your responsibilities, mother trucker. What a clown. 
What a goddamn clan. We've got a new side mission, Ghost of the Past, and we need to find out where Midas is. So we're going to go for Ghost of the Past. Or maybe, I know this is, I've, I've, I've done this in a beta. What an idiot. You're actually going to, I think it's the one where you research Buddy's skeleton. And you just, yeah, you basically, you investigate about uh, an old ghost. Well, technically, he wasn't a ghost. He was a marine that fought with Mads. And uh, they call it Ghost of the Past because he long dead, man. He long gone. And uh, I think the only thing that you find is the remains of his goddamn bones. All right. I think we're going to access that later on. So, gather information about Jay Scale. There we go. Mads, did the folks from the beach make it back? You mean the survivors? I knew some of the people on that boat since they were babies. I saw them take their first steps. I did my best. Your best? We were supposed to have a ship. Marines. And all we got were bodies washing up on the shore and some grunt twisting in the wind. Mads, this grunt did save a whole lot of us. Oh, but my daughter, it's not a small thing. I know. But it ain't enough. Not with these odds. This isn't over. I found my friend Sergeant Major Hill. We've got a plan to go after Jay Skell. If we can stop him, take control over the drone. Hold on, hold on. You think Jace is behind this? You're wrong. He's a good guy and my best friend. Sentinel took over the island. <sighs> Follow me. I have evidence. Well, I got more immediate problems. My people have to prepare for the long haul. You gonna lend a hand? All right, but finding Skell is my priority. All right, what are we doing now? So do we talk to Shoes? Obviously, he's a faction leader, so we, I think we have a lot of the raids as well. God damn, let's go check it out. I, I, we didn't, oh, we didn't speak to this guy, and we also got a uh, tutorial. In the tutorial that uh, Mad's wife, Maria, showed us, they did, uh, she did show that this guy would give us raids in different battles. She said it as, like, battles and different uh, uh, combat situations and stuff like that and different intel for for missions, but it technically gives you the freaking raids. They just hit it behind the law. All right, let's 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 talk to him and uh, let's get a discussion with him. Enter a raid, how to join a raid. So, obviously, this is how to join a raid. I don't think we're going to enter a goddamn raid. Let's check it out. Now, walk me through this Titan program. It has to be a target, right? I mean... It's a secret Skell project on Golem Island. What more do you need to know? Any idea what they do there? What would make it a priority threat? I don't know. You have to understand. The Jace Skell I know would have considered a killer robot beneath him. He's a genius, sure, but when I came to work for him, it was because he was revolutionizing technology. Then, after Project Amiga ramped up, the work changed. He seemed to change, too. Fine. But what was he so afraid of that super robots were the answer? Is there some major city that needs protecting against mutated fire-breathing dinosaurs or something? Look, I've been asking myself that question every day since I left. If I were to hazard a guess, and this is purely speculation on my part, but I have to imagine that the program slipped into Walker's hands somehow. Maybe he and the wolves took the lead on it. But I can't really give you any insight into fighting whatever they're making. That said, if the robots are scales, they could eventually be the most devastating weapon this world has ever known. So yeah, I'd say they're our priority threat. Well, fair enough. I gotta say, Ubisoft, I gotta hand it to Ubisoft too. It's one, it does, it's a good idea to add drones and stuff like that and mechanisms like this inside a game because it just had, like I said, a whole new layers to the game instead of just human enemies every single time and helicopters and choppers and tanks and goddamn, however you wanna goddamn put it. But I think they're obsessed with this drones and mechanisms and technology, which obviously, yeah, comes from scale, which is, you know, scale tech. And obviously, that's the law behind their whole Ubisoft franchise or behind this whole uh, Tom Clancy franchise. But god damn it, you're obsessed with the drones, even in Division. All right, let's talk to her again because I want to 
continue the discussion. Oh, here we go. Aroa's infrastructure joins energy source. Aroa's air traffic. Erwan's anti-drone. Now, these are the things I do want to know. They'll help aid with some investigation. Let's do it. How do you fit into this whole Skeltech design? I was the head of the civic engineering department. Guess you could say I resigned over creative differences regarding Titan. So you had something to do with designing the infrastructure here on Aroa? Sort of. I build on top of what the New Zealand and US military started. Every culture has to do that. Build on top of existing infrastructure. The older the culture, the more infrastructure is already in place, the harder it is to modernize. That's why Europe is such a mess. Why not just tear it up and start over? Once you build something, like roads, you don't want to unbuild them. Plus, Skell wanted to keep all the existing structures in place as a way to preserve the island. That seems like a pain in the ass. I don't mind a challenge. That's what makes me so good at what I do. So I guess your roads are going to be a problem for the next person that comes here to design infrastructure. I doubt it. By the time my roads need to be reworked, people will be flying around Aroa on jetpacks. Oh no! Don't 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 mention jetpacks, please. Oh, she just oh please don't let it that don't let that be a hint or a goddamn teaser or a goddamn freaking Easter egg to what they're planning next. Because jetpacks, holy smokes! No, come on, man, not in here. It's already heading to the you know future technology kind of kind of way. All right, drone and bab. So drones, energy source. All these drones must use a massive amount of power. We use more electricity than most third world countries. So if we pull the plug, we can shut the whole operation down. There's no plug. The whole island is powered by a diverse renewable power grid. There are multiple power sources and no one source powers everything. And all the power sources are renewable. None of them need fuel. So you built a lethal drone army and gave it unlimited power. No one thought that might be a problem. Skell insisted our power came from environmentally friendly sources. We have the cleanest power grid on Earth. Also the most expensive. Maybe people like you are the reason Skell had to build his utopia way out here in the middle of nowhere. How many of these renewable power sources are there? There's a massive solar panel farm outside Liberty and wind turbines on the west coast. There are also two oceanic geothermal plants in the channels between the islands. Those are powered by cold water from Antarctica and warm water from the Pacific. There must be some kind of battery where they store all the excess power. Just north of Liberty, there's a dam. Inside are flywheel capacitors. That's where the energy is stored. Right. Sounds like he did an impressive job. It ain't nice what money can buy. <laughs> how do I bring it down? I'm just going to say how do I bring it down because I don't care about the impressive job. It doesn't sound impressive to me. It sounds goddamn dangerous because the point is that the army of goddamn drones and and technology that they have behind, you know, behind the big shoulders, you could say. So how do I bring it down? Why couldn't we just destroy the power grid? There's no way to disrupt the swarms by just smashing the electric box. This power grid is a model for a sustainable future, and all you want to do is destroy it? Besides, you can't knock it out. It's designed to have backups for backups. Even if all that fails, we have energy stored in the flywheel capacitors. The lights are never going off on Aroa. That's the scary thing about this world 2.0 you built. It can't be rebooted. Exactly. So Aurora's air traffic. There's just something fishy about all of this, folks. There's a lot of uh, backups to backups, as she as she just said. I mean, there's got to be a way. There's always a way. So Aurora's air traffic. What kind of air traffic do you get on the island? Before the perimeter of drones made leaving the island impossible, the only people flying in or out were investors or vacationers. To be honest, we've never had much air traffic. Why do you ask? I saw an airport earlier. We might be able to land a bird in there. To evacuate people? Or explore. I'm just spitballing here. The Aroa Airport near Infinity has the big runway. But that's where all the international flights come in. I need smaller airstrips. Somewhere they can land helos. Try Liberty Airport. We use it for internal jumper flights. If you're snooping around there, just be careful. Sentinel uses both of them, so they're crawling with security. All right, Erewhon's anti-drone net. Here we go. What's with the fancy net there on Erewhon's crater? Well, it's hardly a net, but yes, it is fancy. It's bleeding-edge, multi-layered camouflage equipment that blocks visibility with surrounding environmental patterns. More importantly, it fools the drones. It's how I keep Erewhon hidden and virtually impossible to find. 
So it works the way a chameleon would, blending into the background. A little more advanced, but yes. The fabric uses a signature management system that disrupts thermal patterns, infrared wavelengths, and radio emissions, so drones can't run their recognition algorithms. It won't fool the human eye. I mean, if somebody was looking at a drone feed, they might notice something weird, but... Ah, nobody can check thousands of hours of video feed on Aurora. Right. It makes hiding things from drones pretty easy. They can't respond to what they don't see. It was developed by Skeltech. Luckily, I just so happen to know how to hijack it. Now Erewhon can remain safe for at least a little while. I like your style, Jericho. Yeah, me too. I kind of like her, but she's the most contradictive and hypocrite I've ever seen in my life. She, she built this and she doesn't want to destroy it because it's good for the future of sustainable energy. And then, she goddamn hijacks the whole thing. Hey, are you stupid? At least she's on our side, I guess. You know, she's. you want to have the people that designed it on your side. There's no better advantage to the people that know its roots, right? It's just the way I think. All right, goodbye. I'll see you around. Sure. I'll be seeing you. I don't look too happy. Oh, damn it. All right. We've got to talk to Fox and we've got to do... I think Fox is here. Yeah, he is. I don't know if we should talk to Fox. Uh, Fox? I don't know if we should talk to Fox and then uh, end it there, folks. Because uh, we have been uh, it's running pretty late into the episode. I might do this for the next episode. And we'll talk to Fox in the ep uh, next episode. As uh, we have gotten a lot. We've got a up to a lot in this episode. It's been a very productive one. We've unlocked so many new weapons. Uh, we've progressed through with the gear level and abilities. I will be putting skill points in the next episode. Because like I said, I like to collect them. And then just choose around which skill point I like to build that character. Or to build the character trace which I like the most. Uh for online because I'm trying to build a hybrid. I don't want to create too many presets or free presets. I'm trying to build a hybrid build. I'm trying to build the hybrid. I'm trying to construct like kind of a hybrid build for online goes PvP and also and then just change the weapons around instead of the gear, which is just kind of logic, I'd say. And then uh, yeah, folks, we've uh, we've unlocked so much and we've gotten through so much and we've also tried the real battle or the real kind of fight with that ADS breath taken in system, which changed the fight renovated it and innovated the whole from the ground up you could say uh it felt completely different and harder because double the amount of enemies come at you plus you have to take uh note of the time or when to shoot and to not ads for too long because otherwise your aim will start swaying around like crazy due to the fact that you know you lose breath so it's just so much there's so much that goes into it and there's so much learning the new mechanics and system that i think did just work i like it so, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next episode of Ghost Recon Breakpoint.